Now it's time to go back to the floor pan. So those of you who've been following the saga of the lower inner firewall, that work's all done. So now I can start to look at how this rear floor plan's going to join up. Um, in review, the front pans on this car aren't too bad. A couple of corrosion spots. I need to scrape what little cosmolines underneath here. I see 914s with not only cos cosmoline, but also undercoating, which gets to be a real troublesome. So I think that's the first thing I'm going to do is get out the vibrating scraper and scrape what's left, clean it all up. And um, then I'm going to do some trial fitting on the rear floor pan, start to get that lined up. And there are some other components that need to go on the rear floor pan, which I'll share with you um, after I review the Restoration Design website, because they've got a great video there about replacing 914 floor pans. So when I measured the floor pan from the firewall forward, it was, I think, 26 and three quarter inches. So I've cleaned off. That should land right in between those two ribs. That's where the seam between the front and rear pans should be. So I've cleaned all that up. And the good news is uh, the metal going to the front of the car looks pretty darn good. Uh, we do have some perforations over on this longitudinal, uh, but the uh, rear pan should come forward to this about this point here. So that'll just be a patch in this area, I believe. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, I want to mock this up um, by actually putting the pan in place. I don't trust taking measurements. I'd rather have the the big patch if you will in place to mark where the cut's going to be i do know that i'm going to take out this cross member because i was debating about that but it's just too far gone and you know it's it's not that hard to get out so we'll be dealing with that i'll keep i think i'll keep that cross member in this string of uh, floor pan videos because it is kind of pertinent to doing that so um, I need to move my jack point in the rear I'll put it under the engine bar and shouldn't be any problem lifting the car there with it with the lift um, that's where all the weight is anyway pretty much at this point that way I can get to this jack plate, which needs to be cleaned up. It's pretty much what I expected. The jacking triangle itself is in pretty decent shape. Those usually rust really bad. But what I did want to point out is that you can see that's the outer edge of the floor pan compressor just kicked in hang on i'll turn that off okay that's more better yeah so that's the outer edge of the floor pan i've cut it out obviously and then it makes a bend around here it actually goes under the jack plate um so rather than remove the jack plate i'm just going to get in there with a flapper wheel and smooth all that out and put that floor pan right up against the jack plate itself. Uh, reason being, I don't want to replace the jack plate and just more metal, more metal, more strength. This plate over here on the passenger side, little corrosion hole there, but 
you know, both of them are bent because of improper jacking where somebody has put the lift up in that area when it's supposed to be on the donut. So, so I'll do the same over here because once again, the pan wraps underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and get my flapper wheel in there and clean all that up. Uh, probably go down the inside of the longs as well. Uh, just smooth off that some more. And basically what I'm going to try to achieve is getting a, a score mark across here where the seam will be. Um, and then I can remove all that metal. All right. So this test fitting kind of confirms what my measurement said. So the seam is going to land uh, just to the rear of the car, that rib. And how I did this is I just lined the pan up with the outer firewall, clamped it, supported it with a jack. So, like I was just saying, you can see here that the pan actually goes under the triangle plate. But I don't think that's necessary. So, all that's lining up. Looks like we might have a little extra metal along the bottom here. I don't think that's a problem. And then also noted that down the sides here, because there's your factory seam, the restoration design part has good half inch extra. Now a purist would trim that well, I'm not going to do that. That's just more metal and more strength in my book. Same thing over here. There's extra. It's just going to help that longitudinal. Uh, which we all know there's rust inside of there. So more metal, more time. <laughs> more time to enjoy the car before it disintegrates into a pile of rust. So uh, I'm just going to score or mark this. That'll be my line where I stop removing uh, the offending metal. Now I will leave at least a half inch for a final cut. Tune that in precisely. But at least I can get a, a rough mark for now and get rid of the rest of that uh, offending floor pan and the cross member and then clean the tunnel up. The Sawzall made quick work of uh, most of the cross member and a pretty good chunk of the floor pan. Next I'm going to use a cutting wheel to cut in. The middle section is just of uh, the cross members just held on with some seam welds. So I should be able to just grind those out and lift that off. The top, uh, the middle section of the of the um, cross member came off quite nicely. A little bit of persuasion, and fortunately, the this covered part can rust really bad. I did one uh, where this whole section here was gone and I had to fabricate it because I don't know that anybody makes the tunnels themselves um, and then uh, I went over there and cleaned up where the sides joined to the inner longitudinal and that's good metal over there likewise over here that's good um, longitudinals on this car are not that bad I mean yeah, there's some areas that have some rust, and we've addressed them, but um, 
Next thing will be to get under here and remove this segment of the floor pan under the tunnel. I've got some spot welds that I'll need to drill out. And as you can see, I left a good three inches of metal before the seam uh, so I can trim it to make an exact fit. This evening I'm going to take a look at the uh, YouTube video from Restoration Design about the other little pieces parts you need to put on the floor pan before you put it in. There's some seat brackets that it's uh, recommended that you do that. So uh, I'll be getting my head out of the floor pan here and joining my wife for dinner. Until tomorrow.